Hey there, I am the Gaming Grizzly and welcome back to Gangster New Orleans. In this video I want to give you 10 awesome tricks that will help you to get a good start in the game. So let's start with number 10. In the beginning of the game try to get as many chars as possible to get good items. I will give you some tips how you can earn chars. The first tip is daily quests. Here you can see you have some daily quests like use 55 energy or complete 5 mission using thugs and you get premium char pieces that will give you chars for 2 to 4 star items. Over here you also have the achievements tab where you can get chars for example this one reach player level 50 you will also get them for reaching level 10, 20, 25. You also can complete achievements to get um, char pieces and other missions for premium chars. As you can see here, I've already did a few missions. Here you can also complete a mission on normal mode for 1000 premium char pieces. And you also can complete those achievements to get diamonds, to buy more chars. The next way to obtain chars is by completing missions. For example, if you complete a mission the first time, you will get some diamonds and you also will get some chars. So you should definitely try to complete all the missions on three stars to get the best items. Then we have the turf events where you can get char pieces and even complete chars. So here for example, I can claim this one and get 150 char pieces for a premium char. And if you get more points during the event, you will also get 3 star char pieces and in the end you will even get 4 star char pieces. So that's pretty cool. And if you reach different leagues during the event, you can even get a complete 3 star char or <clears throat> 4 star char pieces and also diamonds to buy more chars. So that's pretty cool. I really recommend you to do the turf war missions to get more chars. And while you are playing the turf war events, you have to conquer turfs. And if you conquer the turf, you will get every eight hours 500 turf char shards. So I will show you it right here. You can just click on it and then you get 500 turf star chars and the next update is eight hours, 90 minutes till I can get more of them. Number 9. If you want a specific item like a good car or a good weapon, then you have to save up your diamonds and watch the limited time offers. As you can see here, we can now have a chance for exclusive 4 star bullet caster or a helicopter. And that's pretty cool, but I also have to say it's only a chance. So it's not a guaranteed bullet caster or helicopter, it's just a chance to get it. But if you want a higher chance to get cool items, you definitely want to save up, save up 150 diamonds to get those. Number 8. Upgrade the right items. During the mission you will get a lot of weapons as you can see here and also a lot of vehicles that will only have one star and I really recommend you not to upgrade those weapons. Don't fuse them, don't evolve them. I did it once with a sniper here. You can see here you do 247 damage. It's maxed out one star but I will show you why you shouldn't upgrade those weapons because here you can see I've got a 3 star sniper with 747 and I also upgrade other 3 star weapons I can use and I never do anything but upgrading 3 stars or 4 star items because it's just a waste of time, it's just a waste of money to fuse and evolve other items. Number 7. Play the turf for events to get really cool rewards. I also showed you this before, but now I want to bring it up again. Look at this. You will get tier 2 universal booster. You will get different boosters for each stage you reach in the turf war events. And you also get char, char, char pieces, char, char pieces 
and well that's pretty cool get a lot of three star and also four star char pieces and here you can see you can you have to promote to get into the next league or if you stay in the same league you will get the same reward as before and if you demote you will get a lower reward and as you can see here the rewards are really high i really recommend you guys to level up in the turf war events as you can see here a three star a three star chart just right away if you are in this league and diamonds and chart 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 pieces it's just awesome number six level up as fast as you can to get more energy and also to get more turfs to conquer as you can see here i almost reached level 50 and i already have 67 energy that i can spend right away and that's pretty cool and also you can see all those turfs i can i could conquer that will give me points for the turf wars i only need this one and you can see here level 50 required and as soon as i reach level 50 i can also conquer this and will get more points for the events and this will give me an extra boost for the turf war events so just level up as far as you can play missions try to get to the next level and remember as soon as you level up you will get full energy so try to make your complete energy low and then reach the next level and you will get a full pack of energy again number five use the right equipment as you can see here this is my fastest car and I will definitely use this one and not any other one because we want to finish this mission on three stars to get the most of experience points, the most of gold we can get out of this mission. So I will just drive it right now. Okay, so we now finished it, 24 seconds and we will get the three stars pretty easy. So as I mentioned before, try to get as many chances to get good items and then you play the missions with these items. That's really important because they can really make a change. I will show you the same stuff for a contract mission right here where you have to use all your weapons and I obviously use all of my best weapons that I can equip to do the most damage and play the mission as easy as it can get. Number four, how to get more health? That's a really frequently asked question and I, re I want to show you how you can get more health. You can see my weapons right here and the sniper one will give me 2400 something something hp which means health points and then my spinning ripper gives me 2000 the resolver gives me 2000 and my last weapon gives me 1600 and when you now click on a mission on play you can see total health is 9600 something something and that's just a combination of your basic health and the health you get through your different weapons I really recommend you to evolve your weapons because the health points will also increase if you evolve your single weapons. Number three, how to easily escape the cops in no time. I have two methods for this. So the first one is just by getting to the airport. You can see here I have three star police. No, I don't have three star. I have a five star police wanted level. And I just entered the helicopter, fly a bit away from the police and they cannot follow me. They just cannot follow me. You can see it right on the map. I will soon be out of range of the police. And now I can just wait here and watch the wanted level sink. Okay, and that's it. We are free. The wanted level is gone. And that was the first method. But if you are not at the airport, there's another easy way to lose the cops. Again, I have a five star wanted level and I delivered myself a boat and I just 
jump into the water, get into the boat, and then I will drive away from the area where the police can follow me. And it's just the same like the helicopter trick. You will get out of range and then you will just stay here for a few seconds and you will get rid of the wanted level in no time. And here we are. That's it. That's how to lose the cops in no time. Number two. Save time by letting thugs complete missions for you. And that's pretty easy. You just have to complete the mission on three stars and then you can easily assign a thug to any mission you've already completed. And here we are in a mission you just have to assign. Then you can select your thug you want to to do the mission and start the mission and that's it you have to wait one minute but I already did this for you guys as you can see here it's a success one of my thugs completed the mission I get three stars and the amazing thing is it's like we get rewards if we played the mission ourselves here you can see experience points gold turf war points also a tier 2 universal booster some turf char pieces and influence for the turfs And last but not least, number one, have fun. Gangster New Orleans has so much to explore, so just explore the map, it's awesome. Play the missions, play through the storyline, it's pretty cool storyline, even if it's a little bit shorter than the storyline of Gangster Vegas. But never mind, you have so many things to explore. You can play the mayhem, you can do some epic car stunts, vehicle stunts, and I will just show you a few options you have. Last but not least, number one, have fun. Gangster New Orleans is a pretty cool game. You can do so much things. You can play side missions, you can conquer turfs, you can play the main missions, and also you can explore the whole map. It's so big and really nice. And you can also do some stunts with motorcycles or with boats or with cars. It's amazing how many stuff you can do. And recently they added the mayhem where you just have to get as many points by killing people and letting cars explode and stuff like this. And I will just show you, here in the menu you can go to settings and then you have the motor controls. I really recommend you to change it from arrows to stick. And by doing this you will get a right stick here on the left where you can do wheelies and front and back flips while you drive on your motorbike. Look at this, <laughs> even the jump right here. And that's pretty cool, you have so much things to do. Like here at the super jump, I will do a pretty good. Here is a pretty cool backflip. Whoa, well, okay, that was lucky enough we did it. Um, yeah, and it's so much fun to play the game. Just enjoy it. And as I mentioned before, you can start a mayhem by just Bring cars to explode, kill the police, kill other people and try to get a new high score. I already have 250,000 because it's just a funny part of the game, the mayhem. You can see now I have 2,500. Oh look, come on. We now gonna bring the helicopter to explode. And, et voila. That's so cool. 5,000 points. Yeah, so as I told you, just enjoy the game, enjoy the gameplay. It's a pretty cool game, you can do so much stuff. You can also die. That's fun, maybe. And that's it of today's 10 awesome tips and tricks for Gangster New Orleans, the beginner guide. I hope you guys liked it. If so, leave a, le, 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 leave a thumb up. Also, leave a comment in the comment section below. And if you haven't already, leave a sub to the Gaming Grizzly. And if you want, you can also watch another video over there. Go watch another video over there.